How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to get UPS shipping rates on pirate ship. And then we're going to compare those rates to eBay to see if eBay is a little bit cheaper, if pirate ship's a little bit cheaper, or are they exactly the same? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the video. First thing you're gonna do is go to pirateship.com. You're going to log in. And once you have logged in, you're gonna go down here to the little chat bubble. Then you're going to go to send them a message. You get a bot, you can say, hi, can you activate UPS on my account? And then you're going to have to go to talk to a person. And then you might have to wait a couple of minutes from when the bot kicks over to a person. They're going to have this nice little pirate dialect and then they should be able to activate UPS. Pirate Ship's customer service is on another level. The fact that they get into character and they get back to you very quickly is part of why people love using this service. We actually already activated ours yesterday, so they responded that it looks like we already have it. Any other questions? And then they linked us to this UPS article that is not published on the Pirate Ship website. And it goes through all the different UPS services. You have ground, three day select, second day air, second day air in the AM, UPS next day air, early AM next day air, air saver, and standard international worldwide expedited, worldwide saver, worldwide express. And then it lets you know that UPS only can be put into four by six and not into two by seven. However, you can print four by six on a normal printer, an ink or a laser jet printer. It also comes with a hundred dollars of carrier liability, which is nice. That is how you activate UPS. We're going to do an eBay order integration and we're gonna be shipping it UPS and we're going to compare it to eBay. So I'm going to the order, get rates. The length is 21 and a half times nine and a half times two and a half. And the weight is three pounds, 11 ounces. And we're gonna hit get rates and pirate ship automatically picks the cheapest rate and that is indeed UPS ground. If you hit the drop down, you can see all of the other rates that they have, but we're gonna go with the UPS cheapest ground. We're gonna compare that to eBay. So let me pull up eBay. I've got the same order pulled up on eBay. However, eBay does not allow me to type in fractional inches. So I'm gonna have to round it up 22 by 10 by three and at three pounds, 11 ounces. Believe it or not, it is actually, oh, here's UPS ground. It does not automatically pick the cheapest. I had to do the drop down. UPS ground is $9.37. $9.30 with up to $100 in insurance included coverage. So the price is the exact same from eBay and from Pirate Ship. If the services and the contracts, the savings are the same, you might ask, what's the big deal? And the benefit to this is if you're creating a single label, sending a package to a family member, to a friend, and it's big, it's heavy, maybe you're wholesaling stuff to people and you want access to a deeper discounted UPS rate, then you can now use that off of Pirate Ship or you can buy all of your labels off of Pirate Ship and stack credit card rewards and credit card points that way. Apparently this is going to roll out to everybody on October 4th, but I did wanna get this information out there as soon as possible to help you guys if needed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments section. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.